Oh yes, do I have a special treat for you. Hello and welcome aboard to another exciting Let's Play starring me, I'll tell him why body and as always please subscribe and support me on Patreon if you like my works. We're going to be showing off a bit of this fantastic old DOS gem from 1993 by Strategic Simulations Incorporated and Blue Byte software called The Great War 1914 to 1918. I just love these cutscenes. This is one of the very few turn-based strategy games to tackle the First World War for obvious reasons. Uh-oh. No! Oh, they shot the prince! That's bad. You know my endless fascination with World War I. The Bismarck Era! The Franco-German policy conceived after the 1870-71 war by Bismarck, Chancellor of the German Reich, was intended to prevent any further wars. The conflict over Alsace-Lorraine, which had been smoldering between France and Germany, caused Bismarck to pursue a foreign policy aimed at isolating France. Just like the Germans would be. To achieve this aim, he formed a number of alliances, 1879, dual alliance between Germany and Austria-Hungary, and this game is just so full of this historical information, it's just so great. Both sides committed themselves to mutual military assistance in the event of an attack from Russia or Russian support of an attack by another aggressor. In the event of a single attack by another power on one of the two allied partners, the countries not under attack was to provide benevolent support to the other partners. 1881, three emperors treaty between Germany, Russia, and Austria-Hungary. <sighs> the text moves a bit at a rate that's sometimes not so easy to read. In this treaty, the three signatory states ensured each other unconditional benevolent neutrality in the event of war. 1882, Triple Alliance. Italy joined the dual alliance with Germany and Austria-Hungary. So we're covering all the events that led up to the World War I, the Great War, as it were. 1887, reinsurance treaty between the German Reich and Russia. This defensive alliance went beyond the content of the Three Emperors Treaty. Russia assured her neutrality should the German Reich be attacked by France. We'll see how long that lasts. In return, Germany would remain neutral should there be an Austro-Hungarian Austro attack on Russia. Yeah, that's not going to work out either. After Otto von Bismarck had announced his resignation on 23rd, 1890, Following long disagreements with Kaiser Wilhelm III, the Tyro back to the... See what I mean? With the exception of the dual alliance, the alliances which had maintained the balance of power in Europe collapsed. Ugh. New alliances! France and Russia concluded an alliance assuring mutual assistance in the event of a German attack on either of the two states. The content of the Three Emperors Treaty was thereby reversed. France and Great Britain entered in the Entente Cordiale in heartfelt agreement over contentious North African colonial matters. From the readiness to clarify controversial points through negotiations, a war alliance was concluded in 1914. The superpowers Great Britain and Russia, which had hitherto been enemies, came to an agreement over their zones of influence in Asia. This led to a general political agreement on more wide-reaching matters. 1913. Serbia was successful in the Balkan Wars against Turkey and Bulgaria. The Russian policy directed against Austria-Hungary was therefore attractive to the Serbs. Yeah, we see all the interlocking politics that makes us so great. The assassination in Sarajevo of the Austria, Austro-Hungarian successor to the throne, Franz Ferdinand, caused the Habsburg monarchy to issue the Serbs with an ultimatum, which is unacceptable to them. The general readiness and enthusiasm for war in Europe proved an obstacle to a diplomatic solution to the conflict. Yes. They were all too ready to go to war. Choosing our sides, the only possible consequence of such events was... Wait for it! Wait for it! War! 
Bet you saw that coming. Strategic Simulations, Inc. Oh, this is just such a great game. It's, um, stupidious. <laughs> Stupidly difficult, though, for obvious reasons, because the First World War was not a very great... They call it the Great War, but it wasn't very great at all. Oh, well, just look at this. 1993 Strategic Simulations, all rights reserved. And you get this cool intro panel. Look at this! Uh, it looks like it's printed on... It's like you're briefing uh, military -esque and everything. <laughs> One of the weird things about this game is that you can enter a different... It actually has sort of a password system. Like you would see in old uh, console games. You can put different... Different uh, words in here. To go to different missions. Nope, that didn't work. There's a couple of other ones that you can look up if you want to skip ahead to the campaign. The game setup. We got all the fights and everything, all depots and no limits. It took me a little bit to get a feel for this game because it's very unusual. Because it's you'll see when I open it up miscellaneous high score load nope let's go ahead and start let's be the Germans because the Germans have all the cool toys don't they so you start on this map and here's the thing it's you play simultaneously with the other player and the turns you have it's split screen like this and if you're familiar with Panzer General, you'll at least be familiar with the hex-based system as this works out. But this is very unique in that it allows you to operate movements and attacks. It just it plays plays a lot like a tabletop war game. So Let's get that out of the way. What can we do here? So, our main objective is, this is our headquarters here. Alright. And I'm using the mouse so it's bouncing all over. It's designed to be used by a joystick, which is weird. Unfortunately. And this is a depot. The D is for depot. And if we capture the depot, we can get these units. So we want to do that. X makes you go back to where you came from. Obviously, you can see the rows and the terrain. This spiky thing is a bunker. If we look at it... Access refused! Because it's French, it's not ours. And there's another depot here that has some troops in it and stuff. So, we want to start using our... What we're going to do, we're going to use our mobile warfare because this is the First World War and we have that stuff. So we're going to load up our elite infantry, which is our infantry with machine guns. Actually, let me show you what they look like. You can get all the information on all your units like this. They have weapons and ground stuff and speed and weight. Weight is important for loading into vehicles. The max group size is six. You units will take damage and be from you know, they'll lose a point. Six, five, four, three, two, one. You get the idea. And the speed of in general. But yeah. So we're gonna move our Machine gunners, they call them elite infantry in this game. We're gonna put all our dudes into our supply cars and we're gonna drive them to the front because that's how we roll, man. We're the Germans. We don't have time to wait for stuff. Let's see, this light artillery is not in a good position to get anywhere. And we do have cavalry because they used to have horses back then. Yeah, look at that. Cavalry are great because they have a lot of speed. You can use them for scouting and you can use them for strike attacks and everything. Can't put them on trucks though. 
Loading not possible. Yeah, why would you put a horse on a truck anyway? We'll move him down here. And move him, this artillery piece here. So unfortunately, you can't move your supply car down uh, up here and then move him into it. If the supply car moves, you can't move units into it, but the supply car can move and unload units. You'll see what I mean as we go along. Put the artillery in there, man. Yeah! Driving all over the western front. So I'm probably not going to play the entire campaign because this game takes for frickin' ever as we go along. These guys are not, don't have enough movement points to get to the supply car. And we also have, I should, I think we have, nope, we don't have anybody, anybody in here. But in later missions, you'll have guys in your reserve in the headquarters. And I think there was a, I have another horse that I haven't moved, haven't I? Where is a guy? Dad, it's ours. Move him over here. And we're gonna use tactics to defeat the French. Because the French are our enemies for some reason. Move our supply truck here. And we wanna capture this depot. When you capture the depot, not only will you gain the units that are inside the depot, but you will also Oh, this is a trench, by the way. These little circular things. You get to build them later with other units. But when you capture a depot, you not only get the stuff that's inside it, but, oops, you also get the, get resource points. And resource points are important for gathering to Repair your forces. Anyway, that's enough of our stuff. Let's go to the next turn. You see this finicky, weird controls. You have to hold the mouse button down and move it in various directions, up and down and left and right. So we don't have anything to do right now. We're going to wait for the computer to move all their units at super duper speed as the computer usually does. You see they're moving their artillery out. So change command. All right. So looks like they have their cavalry up in this formation here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drive our, our truck right up here. Right? Yeah, I like that. We'll drive our other truck up over right about here, I suppose. We'll use this horse to capture the depot. You can capture depots with cavalry or infantry units, but not anything else. We'll eventually get tanks and cool stuff like that and aircraft, but this is early in the war. We don't have to deal with that right now. And what I'm going to do is show off how awesome mobile warfare is. I'm going to move my infantry out right in front of these guys. Ha <laughs> ha! Surprise! Put my friggin' light artillery here. Uh, wait a second. Who's in the other truck? I want to make sure I deploy all my infantry first. Because artillery can shoot from further away. Oh, come on. There we go. I want to deploy the infantry first. And it even has bonuses for... it. The game even has proper bonuses for... Hmm. Actually... If I can't deploy them there, I don't really need to. Well, I'll put them... Hmm. I'll put them over here. But I'll save these guys in here. But the game counts for... 
development tactics and surrounding and pincer movements and everything. You get bonuses when you have more guys on your side attacking another hex. Cool is that? Okay, so let's unload our artillery. We now we can spot our artillery in a safe place. And the great thing about light artillery is that we'll, we'll put our medium artillery here. Light artillery can shoot and move in the same turn, which is awesome. This guy's way behind. He's been left behind. No, go over here. Medium artillery has to wait a turn to set up. Let's move our horses this way, and I think we should be in a great position here. And we'll go to the next turn, see what the French do. And see, we've captured that depot. That's the cutscene that shows you what you captured a depot. And the soundtrack gets more exciting when you're winning and happier. And when you're losing, it sounds bad. So this is a sound you want to hear. Bow, 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 bow. War is great. I have assault targets. I'm going to shoot horses with our big damn guns. <laughs> We're gonna move up this way to try and put a defensive position in front of my guys. They're gonna be in for a surprise when the Germans kill them. Look, I can attack, so I'm gonna use force uh, focus fire. I'm gonna put all my units to attack this one cavalry. You use most units to attack one unit, and then you can do them piecemeal. And now, okay, let's go! Now it comes to cool battles! And these battles are just so awesome. They just have the cute little animations. Look at that! Oh yeah! With the sound effects and the animations and everything. If it shows the proper terrain. Ha, <laughs> this is so cool. Yeah, shoot that cavalry. Looks like we took one point of loss. Come on, destroy it. For the fatherland, or whatever the Germans call their country. Oh, that's the best you could do? Whatever. And the French have captured a depot of their own with their own units. Now we get to counter move. And now here's a more somber sounding music for the appropriateness. Now they moved up their infantry like this, but this infantry is all alone, so that's not good for them. This cavalry is also all alone, and they fall back with their wounded cavalry. So, we're going to exploit our advantage. First, we're going to... we can deploy the guys out of here. Yeah, medium artillery, man. Well, we'll put that... Uh, put that on the truck, man. Yeah, actually, we can just load up our whole group into... into our trucks. And do that, yeah. We have some more cavalry, though. We'll just put them wherever. Okay, so we got that taken care of. Now, what shall we do? We're gonna move this cavalry up. Side him from this side. We'll leave that artillery there. I think we can move this infantry this way. And envelop this cavalry like that. And then what we can do... We're gonna move our... Supply cars... Like this. And then we'll move our guys out of them. Well, 
Nobody in there, but I think this one has somebody in it. Yeah, there we go. And... We'll deploy him right there. Aha! Look at that! Moving our forces all around. And, let's see. What we're gonna do... Let me think if I can do this. Oh yes, I can move this here. Okay. The order in which you move your units is very critical. So what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna move this guy... This infantry unit here... Can I move this infantry unit? Not quite. That's okay. But now I can move this infantry unit here. And now we are more surrounding and developing them. Oh yeah, the tactics and stuff are great when you use them. And move this elite infantry this way. I think that's everybody, isn't it? The medium artillery has to sit there and think about what it's done. <laughs> oh, don't forget this guy. Can't forget the remaining light infantry, or light artillery. I thought I had another horseman. Uh, did I move out my horses? Uh, I guess I did. Okay. Alright, now the... Now the French will counterattack! Or... Maybe not. Apparently. Well, fine. Be that way. Oh, I was in... What? No, they should have attacked on their stuff. Well, whatever. We're going to... <laughs> We're gonna... Do I gotta... Oh, yeah, we can shoot this bunker. We can't shoot the horse right in front of us. Because medium artillery has a range. We're actually using medium artillery to shoot this infantry column over here. Because they're further away. And what we're going to do, we're going to have our light artillery here. We're going to have all these guys attack this infantry squad here. Whoops. And we'll have our machine gunners machine gun the horses that are already weakened. That'll be good. And we can use these guys to attack this guy. And I think that's everything. All right, exciting war times happens. I do love the way it even accounts for the cavalry dismounting. Isn't that cool? Because that's what they actually did a lot of times. Cavalry was just to move them around fast. Oh yeah, stomp on them infantry. Well, it's not that effective in forest when you fire artillery into it. Light artillery doing light damage. But this should be good. We'll have our infantry attacks on their infantry with them surrounded. So we took one loss, and they took one loss. Well, that could have gone better. That's okay. Plenty more Germans where that came from. Oh, there we go. Now we're talking. This should finish him off. Kill all the Frenchmen's. Yeah! Oh, but you took losses, though. Whatever. This should finish off their cavalry. Yeah, shoot them horses with machine guns, man. Awesome. It's like I know what I'm doing and stuff. 
Give me some more cavalry. Oh, we killed them too! Ha <laughs> ha! How about that? Yeah, happy jaunty war times, man. Also, you can look at the overall map and you can see how awesome we're doing. See, we have 18 units to their 13. And this points are mean something or another. I don't know. So we're in movement mode, aren't we? I think, yeah, so, okay, so. What should we do now? It looks like they're bringing their artillery up slowly. We need to destroy and take out these units before their artillery can come and support them. Because that would be bad. So, what shall we do now? We can move these... Move this infantry this way. And move this infantry this way. So we can be in more better positions to attack and overwhelm the enemy. And wait a second, I'm gonna leave him there for a second because I have guys in this troop car that I can move around. Um. Ooh. Oh! Why don't we do that? We might sacrifice the supply car, but look, we could deploy our infantry directly to their rear. How cool is that? Yeah, deploy infantry, deploy artillery. Uh, I think I should put the artillery right here. Oh, that's, that's, that's nasty. What do I have in this guy? Nothing! Well, okay. I have a... Oh, I already told you to move. I should have moved him into the supply car. Actually, what I can do... Move him into the supply car. And we can move them faster. That would be a good idea. The unit that's at four, where's that guy? I should have moved him into the supply car so that he could be repaired, but I didn't. And I can't move him anywhere. Oh, you're damaged? Okay, so we'll put you in the supply car. That'll be good. And we'll put you in here. And where can we move you to? Uh, we'll just put you back in your base. And then we can repair those guys in the next turn. Even though that doesn't work for my... Elite infantry. What can I do with my cavalry? Well, I don't want them to be terribly exposed. I could go over this way to attack this guy, but... I think I want to cluster them over here. Because I... They're trying to minimize our losses. Because losses are a very bad thing in World War I. We had a lot of them. And I think that's everybody. Isn't it? Oh yeah, we got a good position now. Except our supply car. I hope it doesn't get exploded. And now the French are attacking us! They're shooting their big guns at our elite infantry. Oh, that hurts! That was bad. Infantry on more equal numbers. Take a point off of each. I got a full supply of infantry, and I've got half an infantry. But I'm still in good shape. While we're in attack mode, attack mode is also for doing stuff. Come on, 
I said do stuff. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at all this stuff I got in here. Anyway, we could repair this infantry. Unit being repaired. We'll put those guys back in that truck and we'll have them out back to the front as soon as they can get there. Oh, this infantry is badly damaged. But we have to fight. Envelop them this way. This is going to be just beautiful. Just the way you use tactics and strategy. Let's see. Who else do I have that I can... Don't I have artillery? Oh, I put all the artillery in the truck. Oh, and I keep forgetting about this guy. Frig. That's okay. I think we've got more than enough dudes to explode all the dude guys. Anyway, let's go shoot them up and at them! Kinda wish you guys would have gone later. I guess it does it in the order that you tell it to. I should pay more attention to that. Oh, this will be good. Come on, kill them all! Yeah, there we go! Wipe them divisions out! If we're weak in elite infantry... We've got machine guns and stuff! Oh, killed them all! Oh, that was better than I even expected! Ha ha ha! Oh dear. Okay, we need to move our guys out though. Where's my... Where's my elite infantry? That was... I can't find him. Did he die? No. I swore I had an elite infantry somewhere. Infantry, regular infantry, infantry. Okay, so get in, um, oh frig, the truck's too far away. Uh, all right, now, well, how shall we do this? Oh, there's my elite infantry. Okay, what's in the truck? Nothing. All right, we'll put our wounded guys in the truck and retreat them. Because we have a lot of wounded. Put them in the ambulances and drive them away. This guy, oh, that's, that's terrible. I'm gonna put him over this way so he's not in range of artillery. I think I could put you in this. Well, no. You're almost at the depot already. So I'll just go to the depot. Okay, then. And move this guy this way. And now open up the depot. Let's see. Move him into the... Oh. Move the supply car out. And then put our dudes in it. What do you mean loading not possible? That's not what I said. Fine. I guess we'll have to do that in another turn. It's a war is not moving fast enough for me. But all our dudes are healed up. <laughs> What's our score now? 18 to 11. Well, it's looking good for the Germans! What should we do with our infantries? So let's maneuver him over this way. And maneuver this guy. Well, no, wait. Not yet. No. Let's use our cavalry first. 
move him here and see if I can move if I can move this guy yeah I can move this guy there and then I can move this guy um, here that is helpful somehow and the infantry now can move nowhere wait we'll put him in the trees oh you can move all the way down here Oh yeah, do that! We'll attack the artillery with our infantry. That works sometimes. Wow, 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 wow! Oh yeah, this guy. I keep forgetting about this guy. I think we're going to win this part of the war. Uh, but the French bunkers are going to attack us. Just a little bit of damage. Just paint over that. That didn't go too badly. Use the trees for cover. That's great. Hopefully this works too. Yeah, only taking one point of damage. Yay! You could skip these battles if you want to. In the later levels, you'll wind up having like 70 or 80 battles a turn, and it gets really messy. So I'm not even going to go to that point. I'm just going to give you a taste of what this great game is about. And you can get it at uh, GOG.com. Part of the Battle Isle package, whatever the hell that is. But man, I am so totally all about World War I and everything about it. Okay, what mode are we in now? We in the... We're in attack mode, okay. So... Attack Cavalry! And, uh, you can't shoot there. But you can shoot this guy. Yeah, let's shoot the elite infantry. Whoops. Don't have too many options for attackage this turn. That we would like. Because we've maneuvered a bunch of our guys in a bunch of different ways. Is there any... Did I leave anyone in here? No. Okay. Just making sure. So this will be kind of a regrouping stage. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Wait. I didn't tell my horsemen to do stuff. Can't have an apocalypse without four horsemen. Okay. Oh, stomp on them. Picturesque mountains of Belgium or something. <laughs> oh, my medium artillery's been all shot up. Why is that? That's not so good. Well, that did some damage. I should probably want to move my artillery out to get him repaired. Well, that was a whole lot of nothing. Maybe this will be more exciting. Yeah, I just love the sound effects. They're real bassy and everything. Okay, now we're in... Now we're in move mode. So we need to, like, move out 
of here. Oh, crap, I can't move him. Oh, the truck's too far away. That would just figure. So that's no good. I'll move you back. I don't know what I'm doing with you. You need to move back also. need to reform and regroup and hopefully not get all killed to hell. But I should be able to have some guys. Who's in this truck? Nobody. So, okay, move you into the... What? I, why can't I move you into the depot? Why does that not work? Ugh. Sometimes I don't understand. What's in this supply car? I said, what's in this supply car? Oh! Sometimes it's a guessing game. Oh, wounded units. Okay. We'll get in the wounded unit supply car. That'll help. Okay, move him into the depot. Yay! See, so you're ready to go. Put you in this car. More medium artillery. Put you in this car. Oh yeah, mobile warfare, man. It's great. Use it. Put you in the car there. We'll retreat a bit until they get... Until I have a better attack position. I don't want all my cavalries to die. So, move them back. I think that's everybody. Well, except this supply car. Wait. This guy's got stuff in him, so what should we do with him? We could move him down here and deploy him, but I want to wait for a little bit. Don't want to do that right now. Alright, move to the next turn. Who's shooting at who? All oh, the bunkers shooting at my infantry. Bunkers have a, a longer range. It's two or three hexes. Well, oh, that was ineffective. It's medium artillery shooting at my horses. That's not going to be good. In open terrain? Oh dear. Ow! Ow! That hurt. This is gonna be bad. Ah, oh, that wasn't too bad. The French are having an off day. Uh, but this is gonna probably wipe out my cavalry unit. Yep, there she goes. Oh, them guys got machine gunned to death. Light artillery shooting at our infantry. Oh, this is one I haven't seen before. Oh, that's ludicrous amounts of damage. Don't do that. Well, fortunately, we're still we're still in good position. Tell by the jaunty friggin' music. Can I? I'm in fisticuffs mode, so I can't shoot anything. Cause there's nobody in range. But what I can do, most important, is to repair repair stuff. See now we have all these resource points. We have nine, 90 resource points, which is great. Look at S3 infantry. We'll turn it into back back to full health. 
If I can make the mouse do what I want it to do. There we go. Repair this guy too. And also repair this guy. Yeah, there we go. I think that's everything that we can do, because my medium artillery moved so he can't shoot. And I need to get him out of there before he dies. That would be bad. Dying is not a good thing. Even though it is an article in German. Ooh, look at their movements. I'm in move mode now. So... <laughs> Artillery down, we can actually do something! So the objective, overall objective is to capture your enemy's HQ or destroy all their units. And we're gonna be destroying all of their units, I think. Oh, these guys need to get, like, way the hell out of here. I have a supply car. Uh, but, uh, I need to move. Huh. Who's in this supply car? I should check that first before I do anything. Artillery. Oh! All kinds of good stuff. Alright, yeah, this is our war fighting bunch. So, put you elite infantry. Put you in the car. Drive you around. Like that. And... Whoops! What am I doing? Nope. Do it like this. Is that gonna fit? Transporter is full! Oh well. Oh, that artillery's in the way. Okay, so we're gonna move our... Is that light artillery? Good. Light artillery. Move that here. Be able to shoot at stuff. I just love this jaunty music. So... Uh, I need to move this. Okay, this is our supply car that's loaded with cool guys of awesome. So... I want to move him uh, right about here. And then we'll use the other supply car. Hopefully... Move him out and we can put some of our wounded guys in there. I hope. Before they get killed. I hate it when my guys get killed. Have I heard that before? Okay, so I need you to graciously retreat. Run the frig away, mans. They're probably gonna get shot before they can get away. That's gonna make me sad. I'm not gonna make the Kaiser happy. Make his mustache all frowny and stuff. Okay, am I at everything? Medium artillery. Run away! Medium artillery! Let's see, we I have our... We already have our cavalry in a good position here. I think... Is that everything? Yeah, that's everything. Okay, let's get to the shooting at us. By the French! Because they're jerks like that. I suppose it would be the jerk. Oh, that was bad. These guys are probably going to die. Mein Fuhrer! Oh, sorry, wrong war. <laughs> oh, oh, 
that's bad. Taking a lot of losses there. Not quite the graceful retreat I had hoped for. This cavalry unit is probably going to die. Or take no damage whatsoever. That would be cool too. But this infantry unit is probably going to get artillery to death. Especially on open terrain. Yeah, that's not a nice fight at all. Medium artillery and cavalry, Zays. Oh, please don't blow up my cannons. I need them. Ugh. Good. They didn't die. But, Rig, we took some kind of losses there that I didn't want to. 15 to 11. Yeah! <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of dying in the First World War. For some reason. We're in fisticuffs mode, aren't we? <laughs> it's attack mode, but I like to call it that because it's got the fist icon. Oh, the wounded cavalry is going to probably die in this suicidal attack. Oh well. Oh, I should be thinking Frigg. I should be doing this in the order because I think the order matters. Is this elite infantry? Always want to shoot our artillery at elite infantry. Because they are the best of the best and we want to destroy them. And these guys are trying to sneak up and just and attack take my headquarters, and that's not nice at all. So we can't let that happen. Uh, is there anything in here I need to do? No. Okay. And then I think that's it. I just hope this light artillery doesn't destroy my supply car before I can have my dudes come out of it. The supply car has obviously like little armor this is great speed though okay next turn now we're on the offensive taking one point out of each guy our brave cavalry sacrificing themselves for the Kaiser and the greater German peoples of the stuff. Well, one of them survived. This should be better, though. Boom! You do get heavy artillery, by the way, if you were thinking about what that would be like, since there's medium and light. And the CPU is down to so few moves, which is good because that means they have so few units left. Oh, hmm. Okay, so let me think. Oh, the medium artillery. You need to escape. You need to escape a vous. Oh, but the supply car is full of stuff. Well, let's unload this supply car. Come on. Where's my unboxing icon? Ugh. Ugh. You have to sort of swivel around in all directions to get it to come up sometimes. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, also, you can see the little... The little uh, cloverleaf sort of thing next to the six there is how many experience they get. It also models experience in this game, so these are more experienced dudes. Isn't that cool? Okay, take our super elite infantry out. Oh, frig. This is like a terrible place to put guys. Um... 
move the... Back him up. And then take him out. Back up, back up! Show me your mouth! Or whatever it is. I keep rolling, rolling, rolling with the Germans. Yeah, you knew there would be some kind of terrible singing here. <laughs> uh, I don't know where to deploy you. I could put you in this supply car. Would that help? We'll, we'll think about that. Put our artillery out, though, because artillery could shoot at stuff. That's kind of the point of it. Okay, X out this way. Move our horse unit this way. Is this? That's medium artillery. You need to go somewhere. Oh, this is mm, not good. We're all getting log jammed up in here. Hopefully, I can destroy this infantry column. These infantry columns, I should say, before they kill my medium artillery, because that would be bad. Hey, look, light ar artillery. What's in here? Anything? Up, oh, come on, to the left, I think. Up, up. Oh, there's nothing in there. Okay. Let's put stuff in there then. Do, 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 do. Such a. <laughs> it's such a catchy soundtrack. Light artillery, light artillery, light artillery, light artillery. Move a light artillery in here. Because we're going to move them closer to the front. Move this guy this way. And then we can unload him and load the medium artillery in next turn. I think. This guy should, uh, he doesn't have anywhere to go, really. That's advantageous. Oh, wait! Actually, he has this guy who's being a jerk. That's not good. I forgot, you can't get our headquarters. That would be stupid. I hope I really, I really hope I don't, don't wind up losing that way. More shooting times. Yeah, supply cars are not good for being anything. Oh dear. This is bad. Oh, they killed my supply car and probably everybody in it. That's not good at all. In fact, all of a sudden, I think I might be actually losing. <laughs> oh, that happened. That was not good. Ah! Look at shit, eight units. Ah! The war swings so quickly that way. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, well. We can at least have his cavalry attack this guy. We're probably gonna lose this mission, I think. Unfortunately. <laughs> because that's the way. That's just the way war works. <laughs> oh, that's awful. No, mm, don't attack them, you'll die. Oh, whatever. Why not? She's a medium artillery to shoot at the guys. Oh, we can't shoot at them. Shoot at them. Shoot at their light artillery. <laughs> Everything looked like it was going okay, and then it was like not. <laughs> oh. 
No, go away. This is gonna be bad. <laughs> it got all wiped out. Oh, good. Now I have nobody to defend my homeland. And there goes another cavalry division. Ha 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 ha! Ah! It's like just when you think things are going your way. Suck ass light artillery. Now it's playing the. Yeah, that. Now we're playing the bad music. <laughs> <laughs> ah, frig, man! So is it supposed to happen? How many units are we down to? Six? That's awful. Uh, run away, supply car! Wait a second. Do I have anybody that I can... Can you... Oh! You still can't load the supply car! Ah! My stupid medium artillery! You're so slow and sluggish. Well, <laughs> I need to get you as far back as close as here as possible. And I should be able to unbox you guys. Close to this guy, but I don't want to put the artillery there. I put the artillery here. A war is not my friend sometimes. <laughs> we'll see. This is gonna be bad. You're gonna kill my medium artillery. Couldn't drive away fast enough. Yeah, it's dead. Thanks for playing, Germany. Okay, well, we're not... We're not quite defeated yet. Hopefully... With this artillery, we should be able to destroy this guy. And if we could do that... We could swing things around a bit. I hope. Jeez. <laughs> Is there anything in here? Nope. Oh, they're going to capture my depot, and that's not going to be nice. I love the dynamic sound soundtrack, by the way. Alright. Get rid of these guys. I don't want to get outflanked by the French. That's not nice. There we go. Down to two. So artillery should... Tear them up. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so we're doing something a little bit right here. But, oh, dear. What we need to do, we need to get rid of this infantry. Actually, this might not be as terrible as I'm thinking it is. Well, we can move the supply car out of the way. Please. Is there anything in you? There isn't anything in you, is there? Nope. Okay. Now, reposition. We'll attack from the forest. We'll be strongest. Move you here. Move you here. And we should be able to destroy this elite infantry in the next turn. Just don't blow up my supply car, please. 
I need that for drivings. Oh, they didn't even hit it. They shoot like stormtroopers. Okay, here we go. Now we're talking. Now this should be good, I think. Oh, you can actually attack these guys. Yeah, let's do that. I think these guys should be easily overwhelmed by our two forces here. Come on, let's make it happen. Do that Germanic thing. Oh, they killed them all with my infantry. Yes. Outstanding. That was all right. Leave my depot alone. All right then, though. Jesus, that's our only infantry guys left. Okay, we gotta be real careful with them then. Fly car. Uh, where should I move my supply car? I don't know. Move our infantry this way, artillery this way, this guy this way. I think that's pretty much all we have left now. I mean, yeah, all of our dudes are getting died because it's the First World War and that kind of happens. Let's move this supply car up over here. I don't think there's going to be even an attack in this mode. Yeah, there we go. Okay, can I shoot at anything? Nope. Alright, just wait for the CPU to do whatever. Okay, so they healed their infantry. So this is gonna be the key pivotal battle here. Oh, yes! We'll take them from the high ground. We'll have a light artillery here, and a light artillery there, and yeah. I think this should be a good battle for the German side here. Maybe we can make something out of this. They have medium artillery, medium artillery, and cavalry, and all kinds of stuff. Take this one turn at a time, but you can see how this game takes like for friggin ever. This is like the smallest map too So you get into the later turns. It's just gonna just get even more and more bigger Okay, so attack in the order that I tell you to Like that That should work All right yeah, that's how it works. Pay attention to the way the game operates. Why don't you? Oh! Brought him down all the way to the three! Yeah, that's what envelopment and tactics will do for you, man. We're probably gonna kill him, actually. Shot him up with just artillery. Hey, that worked pretty great. Yeah, all right. Capture the depot, man. And you go over this way, and you go over this way. Yeah, we might still be able to pull a victory out of our out of our Heinkel here. <laughs> Oh 
my goodness gracious. That's all we get to do for this turn. Oh, you could shoot from really far away, eh? Oh, that's bad. Take my depot back. It's mine now. Okay, so... You need to repair. You're my only hope! <laughs> and, uh, you guys, uh... You can't shoot at the medium artillery from all the way there. So I think that's all we can do right now. Okay. We gotta move our dudes into our dude base. Like that. I can move you into the... Actually, you're not damaged at all, so you can be fine. Move you this way. Attack the artillery. Move out our infantry. Put him in the truck. Move our truck about here. That he shouldn't be able to shoot us from there. We should be able to shoot them from there. So I did put the okay, I good. I did put the light artillery in there. Okay, let's blast them. Shoot them horses about all we can oh wait nope don't forget to repair your guys that'd be awful I said repair oh come on give me a wrench it's almost there uh, uh. come on more power ho oh, oh, ho oh. there we go X for execute out of there. This should be hopefully good. Ooh, that's a lot of damage to exposed cavalry. Excellent. Now our moves, our units are repaired. Move our, our light artillery out here. And we're going to move our... Let's see. Move our... Actually, let's move... Mm, if I move a car here, then I should be able to still deploy my infantry where I want it to be, which is right here. Yeah, there it goes. That medium artillery is going to be a problem. And I want this light artillery to... Well, you can't get on top of the mountain. Fine. Be that way. Let's see how this plays out. Don't shoot my supply car, man! Oh, oh, oh! That's... that hurt. Well, fortunately, I should be able to have him get in the depot and repair himself. Now we're gonna stomp on these guys. Pay attention to which order you select your order of battle. Oh no, my infantry is down to only one? Oh dear. I'm not going to attack at all, I think. 
How did you get to one? I was not paying attention. But you need to run away. And you probably won't be able to. You'll probably die. Oh, killed all the horses. Please get on the truck and drive away. So my light artillery isn't that badly damaged. The problem is the French have all kinds of artillery, just like Napoleon. Move everybody into the depot, I guess. Except you, we can move you to. We'll move you into the depot also. So I don't want you to get overwhelmed. And this is probably gonna be bad because they're probably gonna shoot my guys before they can run away. Yep, they're dead. Thanks. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Now we're playing the really bad music. Well, now I'm down to nothing but artillery, aren't I? That's just great. I can repair my supply car, though. Unit being repaired. Come on, repair. Repair, damn it. There we go. Uh, yeah, the wars. <laughs> War's not working out so well as I had hoped for. Frig, man, they got all kinds of artillery. And they're all, like, promoted and stuff. That's not good. How many units are we down to? Four. No. Well, what are we going to do now? Oh, you know, we, well, shoot, we can't even, uh, we can't even outflank them because we don't have any infantry to steal their headquarters with. Shoot. Because that's what I was thinking about. We have two light artillery. Frig. I think this battle is over. So, rather than watch myself get destroyed, I'm just gonna end this here. But you get the idea, this is such a great game, but it'll take a lot of your time, it'll soak it all up, just like the real Western Front did. And unfortunately, it's not one of those divergent campaigns where you play as the Germans and you get the win. The last mission at the Germans, I tried it and it was like, it's ridiculous. You're facing like 300 French units and you only have like 80 guys. Just like the real end of the war. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna quit. I'm a big quitter. I lose. But it also has these cool news updates as it goes through the various campaigns. August 1914, General Mobilization. He's one of my favorite generals, along with General Motors and General Electric. On 1st August 1914, at 5 p.m., Kaiser Wilhelm II orders the General Mobilization of German troops. Shortly afterwards, he declares war on Russia and France. Breakdown of diplomatic relations. The German Reich and Great Britain are in a state of war. U.S. President Woodrow Wilson declares the USA neutral and offers the BDA for peace. Good luck with that, Woody. 
attack on Belgium. Since its troops are refused authorization to march to Belgium, Germany begins its attack on Belgium. The first important stronghold is captured and stuffed Poland. Austria Hungary declares war on Russia and occupies parts of Poland. Serbia at the River Trin, Serbia repulsed the Great Austro attack. Main headquarters at the French front. The German army sets up its main headquarters near Koblenz in a three-day front. First successes at Le Coutu in Belgium. The first German army overcomes parts of the British expeditionary force to reach the West Bank. New leadership for the Eighth Army after German troops in East Prussia have been forced to withdraw behind the Vistula. What? The Second Army is completely annihilated in Tannenberg. Panama Canal opened. On 15-8-14, the opening of the Panama Canal is marked by the passage of the Ancona. The construction of the canal took a lot of years. Pope Pius X dies. In Rome, Pope Pius X dies at the age of 79. He is succeeded by the Italian Cardinal Giuscomi del something or another. Sport. Preparations for the 1916 Olympic Games in Berlin are canceled. Yeah, obviously. In Copenhagen on 5-18-14, some guy runs really fast. <laughs> Faster than my mouth can work. <laughs> oh, but you just got to love all this, all this historical details. French offensive on the Marne on 5-19-14. Uh, the French troops in northern France begin an offensive against the German front line. The course of the battle, which results in the retreat of German troops behind the Ain River, shows the Schleifen plan for German military command to be unworkable. The leadership crisis in the German army resulting from this retreat leads to the dismissal of the German chief of general staff Helmut von Moltke. He was a great battle singer, by the way. He is succeeded by Erich von Falkenthrope. On the Western Front, German troops capture Varennes. The German army prepares for a long trench war. U-9 successful. The U-boat U-9, under the command of Lieutenant Weddington, sinks three British battle cruisers at the North Sea. Russia driven out of East Prussia. After the battle on the Masurian lakes, the Russian army is forced to withdraw from East Prussia. Austria Hungary defeat Galicia. After the <laughs> Ah! It moves faster than I can think. Uh, and the words keep going on. I think that's about enough great warring I can take. Uh, Australia wins the Davis Cup against the USA for the third time by three games to two, which is, uh, the Davis Cup is like, I don't know, it's that, that's not hockey, that's a Stanley Cup. Uh, it's boating or something. Anyway, ho! Oh. Was that fun or what? Ugh. And we have to try it again. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh man, that was a fun bit of thing and I hope you enjoyed all that historical whatnot that I laid upon you. Because history is important to know, otherwise we will continue to repeat it. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you liked, Please subscribe as always. Until the next time, be excellent to e Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, or subscribe. You can also interact with me on Twitter and Facebook at L1011 Widebody. And if you'd like, you can pledge to sponsor me at patreon.com forward slash L1011 Widebody. Thank you, Detroit! Good night!